crazy goals and an active work pace set the tone for another explosive year at SpaceX. However, amid the excitement surrounding the rapid pace of launches for the Falcon 9 and the intense testing regimen for the Starship, the company's heavy lift launch vehicle, the Falcon Heavy, has notably received less attention. Recently, NASA and SpaceX announced an unexpected delay in the first flight of the Falcon Heavy this year. This delay raises questions about the underlying issue, its causes, and the potential implications for SpaceX's plans with this rocket. Join us as we delve into these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. A year ago, Falcon Heavy embarked on its inaugural flight in mid-January of 2023, igniting a year of activity for this powerful rocket. This successful launch laid to rest lingering doubts about the fate of Falcon Heavy, which had only seen one mission in the preceding years of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Optimism soared for 2024 with expectations of significant milestones ahead for Falcon Heavy. However, as we find ourselves already in March of 2024, there's been a noticeable absence of Falcon Heavy launches and scant updates regarding its status. Meanwhile, its counterparts, Falcon 9 and Starship, have been making waves in the aerospace industry. It's understandable that Falcon Heavy has historically received less attention than its siblings. However, the prolonged silence over the past two months is cause for concern. Thankfully, in the waning days of February, a significant update regarding Falcon Heavy emerged. Unfortunately, it wasn't the news enthusiasts were hoping for. It was, instead, a delay. Specifically, on February 27th, NASA announced, NASA and SpaceX are now targeting no earlier than May of 2024 for the launch of the fourth and final satellite in NOAA's GOS series. Explaining this decision, they added, the new date allows for additional testing and preparation of a new Falcon Heavy Center Core booster. Hence, the flight will be delayed by a few days or weeks compared to the initial plan set for April 30th of 2024. Before delving into the overall plan, let's address the issue with the Center Booster first. According to NASA's announcement, a liquid oxygen leak was detected during the testing routine for the new booster. For this upcoming flight, Falcon Heavy will utilize two new boosters, namely B-1086 and B-1087, neither of which has been previously launched. B-1086 serves as the side booster, while B-1087 is designated as the core booster. It is the latter, B-1087, that encountered the aforementioned issue. Given that these boosters are newly produced, encountering problems during testing is not unexpected. Detecting and addressing such issues early on is crucial for SpaceX and NASA to mitigate potential flight risks, thus ensuring the mission's success. It's essential to underscore the significance of the Falcon Heavy's core booster as it plays a pivotal role in providing the main thrust for the rocket following the separation of the two side boosters. This continued propulsion assists in guiding both the rocket and its payload to the designated altitude. Regarding the specific incident that led to the problem, it's important to note that Falcon rockets utilize liquid fuel, including kerosene and liquid oxygen. To convert oxygen into its liquid state, the company must cool it to a temperature of minus 183 degrees Celsius. While cryogenic liquid fuel offers advantages such as ease of use and storage, as well as increased increased flight efficiency due to higher energy density, it also presents challenges. Cryogenic fuel introduces several potential issues. Storage tanks, both on the ground and within the rocket, must be robust to withstand extreme temperatures. The low temperature can cause surrounding water vapor to condense and freeze, leading to blockages and leaks in components such as valves and screws. Moreover, if frost accumulation reaches significant levels, it can directly damage larger structures like fuel tanks. The consequence of such a leak would undoubtedly undoubtedly be fuel escaping from the system. Liquid oxygen, like all forms of oxygen, is highly flammable. It serves as a crucial component in rocket propulsion systems, sustaining the combustion process necessary for flight. Consequently, any leakage of oxygen could lead to immediate ignition and the rapid spread of fire, potentially resulting in the mission's catastrophic failure. Throughout the history of space exploration, numerous missions have encountered setbacks or failures due to liquid oxygen leaks. For instance, in 1970, the the Apollo 13 mission experienced a critical incident when an oxygen tank exploded and ruptured, causing extensive damage to the service module. Fortunately, no human lives were lost, and the mission ultimately returned safely to Earth. More recently, during the Starship IFT-2 mission, 
liquid oxygen issues prevented the craft from reaching orbit. Elon Musk revealed that SpaceX had vented excess oxygen, a routine procedure when no payload is present on the rocket. However, this excess oxygen ignited, resulting in a significant fire involving Ship 25, and the mission was terminated before achieving orbit. Given the gravity of such incidents, SpaceX requires additional time to address this problem thoroughly. Doing so will be essential to ensure the safety and success of future missions, upholding the remarkable track record of success that the Falcon Heavy has maintained since its debut in 2018. Now, let's consider how this incident might impact the ongoing development of Falcon Heavy. As previously mentioned, Falcon Heavy's inaugural flight last year took place remarkably early, in January. This successful launch set the stage for what promised to be an exciting year, with SpaceX subsequently completing a total of five flights. However, with the delay pushing this year's first flight to May, SpaceX has essentially spent nearly half a year without any launch attempts. This hiatus suggests that replicating the feat achieved last year will pose a significant challenge for SpaceX. In terms of SpaceX's overarching objectives, the company is currently aiming to achieve a milestone of 148 flights this year. Naturally, Falcon 9 will likely see an increase in launch frequency, given its status as SpaceX's primary launch vehicle. While Starship is still in development, it is anticipated to have a greater impact this year, potentially conducting between four to nine flights. With this new goal in mind, expectations are high for all SpaceX vehicles to boost their launch rates. However, it appears that Falcon Heavy may struggle to meet these expectations, facing a potential decrease in launch frequency. This trend could gradually diminish the future prospects of this heavy lift rocket. Reduced launch activity would inevitably lead to a decrease in its influence. Looking ahead, as Starship emerges as a formidable contender, there is a growing possibility that it may eventually replace other SpaceX rockets, including the prolific Falcon 9. In such a scenario, one can begin to envision a fading destiny for Falcon Heavy. Nevertheless, it would be premature to declare the demise of the Falcon Heavy. Indeed, despite its limited frequency, Falcon Falcon Heavy continues to capture attention due to its exceptional quality. The inaugural mission, which saw the launch of a Tesla Roadster, remains a symbolic moment in 21st century aerospace. Subsequent missions, particularly those involving government and military payloads, have further strengthened SpaceX's relationships with these entities. The forthcoming Falcon Heavy mission will carry the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration GOES-U, or GOES-U, weather satellite. This mission is part of a 100 and $52.5 million contract awarded to SpaceX by NASA back in 2021. The GOES-U satellite has a dry mass of 2,925 kilograms and a fuel mass of 5,000. It represents the final satellite in the GOES-R series within the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite System following GOES-16, 17, and 18. The critical role of weather satellite systems in ensuring safety across various aspects of life, including disaster warning and mitigation, requires little elaboration. Following the GOES-U mission, SpaceX has several other significant missions lined up. In October, they are slated to launch NASA's Europa Clipper satellite, which aims to explore Jupiter's moon, Europa. The mission's objective is to investigate Europa's icy surface to assess its potential for supporting life, an endeavor of immense importance for humanity. In November, Falcon Heavy will play a pivotal role in NASA's Griffin 1 mission. This mission will involve the launch of NASA's Viper spacecraft by Astrobotic, tasked with exploring resources, particularly water ice at the South Pole of the Moon. The success of this lunar mission will serve as a crucial validation of Falcon Heavy's role in both SpaceX and NASA's future plans. Furthermore, in one of these missions, potentially the Griffin mission, SpaceX is planning to attempt the recovery of Falcon Heavy's sensor booster. This ambitious endeavor, not undertaken since the third flight of Falcon Heavy in June 2019, entails a triple landing that would mark a historic milestone in aerospace history. Such an achievement would elevate SpaceX's reuse strategy to unprecedented heights. Regarding the upcoming mission, it's hoped that the recent issues with Falcon Heavy won't pose significant hurdles allowing the rocket to launch soon. While delays are never welcome, ensuring the mission's safety is paramount, a principle SpaceX has consistently upheld throughout Falcon Heavy's operational history. Falcon Heavy remains committed to maintaining the rocket's impeccable track record for safety and reliability, staying true to their mission objectives. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.